All right, all right, all right. First and foremost, I want to give all the honors and the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahabashai, in who I reverence and honors, honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. All right. And I want to say to Wadi Yahawa, to Wadi Yahawa by Sham Yahawa Shai, to Wadi Yahawa, to Wadi Yahawa by Sham Yahawa Shai, okay, for allowing me to minister to the hopeful elect. I think it's about time. It's about time. Look, when things happen, we filter it through the scriptures. And this is what's going to happen. Look, the title of this lesson is going to be called Exposing the Program. So I think it's about time. We're going to expose this program. Esau's fake program. And the persecution has already begun. So there's a lot I want to get into. And Lord willing, I know a lot of brothers and sisters need this, right? Because it's already begun, right? The little psyops, it's already started. And we're going to go into a lot of information. We're going to start off on Isaiah 59 and 19. I'm doing this for brothers and sisters so you can be comforted because this is not just happening to one individual. This is happening to thousands of individuals across the world. Okay. More so, this is going to happen to what the elect. So we're going to start off on Isaiah, right? 59 and 19. We're going to expose this program, completely expose it, right? You don't just sit back and watch things happen. Sometimes you have to take action. This is Isaiah 59 and 19. He that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. Why? Because now you've departed. That means you departed from sin. And guess what? The spiritual demon Satan does not like that. That's what he gets angry at. The devil does not like that. Right? So you depart from evil. It says, see, wait, this is spiritual. He maketh himself a prey so you become a prey right you become a prey as it says in what first peters bear me just a minute and we're going to get into this brothers you're going to be edified lord willing this whole program is going to get exposed completely right so therefore you become a prey who do you become a prey to let's go to second peters five and eight be sober this is why we've got to be sober this is why we've got to be spiritually minded right and sober and as i'm saying this guess what esau sent out his agents already be sober be vigilant soberly minded doesn't mean you can't drink because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion scriptures tell us our adversary is the devil right the devil so our enemies are those with the spirit of what satan upon them those that are easily manipulated by the devil, those that have not put off sin, they're more susceptible to the wiles of the devil. As a roaring lion, right, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Devour means to consume, right? So this is what's happening, right? There's a psychological operation going on. It may say, seem far-fetched, but I'm going to bring it all out, and this is going to be edifying. Verse 9, whom resist steadfast in the faith. So we've got to resist. Scripture says in James, you resist the devil and he shall flee. <laughs> right? As a roaring lion walketh about, whom resist steadfast in the faith. So it takes faith to what? Overcome these things. Look, you're not going to overcome this by yourself. Only through the faith in Yahweh Shai. Knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world so your brethren are going through something as well right now we went to that we're going to get fully into this program all right the program is funded by what the elites because the elites there's a hierarchy right there's a hierarchy in Esau's kingdom you have the spiritual demon Satan then you have the elites that they sit down then you have the witches the high priests right 
who give them certain um, ideas, do this, do that. Okay. So it starts with the what? The MI5, the military, and they're funded. And guess what? They're given sufficient funds. We're talking about sufficient, sufficient, sufficient funds, right? And a lot of people call it gang stalking. I don't really like to give it that term, but there's a reason why they call it gang stalking. We're going to get into that, right? Sufficient funds, MI5, the MI6, they're highly involved, okay? And they hide under different cloaks, different terms. And they work hide through what security firms. Yes, they're working with these security firms, these contractors, the construction, right? So yes, even some of these construction workers, they're actually what secret intelligence services, whether you want to believe it or not. Right? They blend in. They're contractors, military contractors. Yes, they're criminals, they're seek secret hitmen. Right? This is the <laughs> Hey, this is the real. This is real. This ain't something I'm making up. And it doesn't matter if you believe me or not. This is what's going on. And it says they're also what Freemasons, because they're part of a lodge. Right? Yes, they're Freemasons. They deal with masonry, they deal with the brotherhood, they deal with secrecy. And because you have particular men bringing out this word, right? They don't like that. So they're trying to stop it, they're trying to hinder this word. But we have to bring this out, right? This is a covert operation, okay? And it deals with mobbing, right? It deals with mobbing, okay? And what's mobbing? Mobbing goes back to what? The gangs. That's why they call it gang stalking. The reason why they call it gang stalking because the gangs are involved. The gangs are no different from the police, right? We're going to get into all of this. That's why you have something called Bloods, something called Crips, right? That's why you have Red and the Blue, right? They're all emerged. They're all emerged. You've got the Red and the Blue. And this particular program, it deals with colour desensitization, desensation, right? So anytime you see a whole load of people wearing red, you associate that with, oh, that must be an agent. It's to desensitize you. That's what it is. But not everybody that wears red now is an agent. So this is a psych highly, highly trained psychological military uh, program. So if, you, if you've been put on this program, it's because you have, look, you're different. It's because you're different. You think outside of the box, you don't think inside of the box, you think outside of the box. And because, really, it's because you believe in Yahweh Shai. That's what it really boils down to. But all types of people are put on this program, but more so it's directed to those that are not following the status quo. Right? I don't want to rush, right? When you think of mobbing, what do you think of when you think of mobbing? Gangs. So, street mobbing, they do that. You may be in a store. May have people surrounding you trying to shut you off. That's part of that mobbing. Regular citizens they use. Anyone they use. Okay. What was I saying? The Bloods, the Crips. You have what? The Rampart scandal. Right? Bloods going back to what? Red. And you've got something called what? The two parties. Republican, which is already Republican. Republican. And you have what? De Democrats, which is blue. Democrips. These are gang organizations, even within the high societies of your government. And this is what we're going to expose, right? Oh, baby, baby, regular people, neighbors. Yes, so get used to this stuff. And a lot of brothers in this truth, I've seen a couple of Israelites that are going through this. But in terms of GMS, I've seen a few things, a few things in videos. And this is just to warn brothers, don't be surprised. If you've moved into an area and all of a sudden you're seeing faces that you've never seen before that's your neighborhood being infiltrated because the neighborhood you may have moved into it you may not know it may have been a freemason neighborhood or they may turn it into that type of neighborhood okay so they use neighbors right to harass to do all types of things okay pay them a bit of money say look this is what they're paid to do they're paid to go around to your local stores, right? The stores you go to, the people you know, and say, look, this individual, get a, get a false report, get a false um, file on you and say, look, this is, this is what he's known for doing. He's done this, he's done that. Um, they create a false report, right? 
they go around with um, their little boards and they create a false report. Because by law, by law, anything that an individual, this individual, that's a so-called targeted individual, that's a so-called threat, you're supposed to bring that to him by law. You're supposed to bring that to him and say, look, this is, this is on the register, that's on the register. This is not on the cards, that's not on the cards. So this is a, a legal program. It's an illegal, right? And it says, neighbours, gangs, yes, gangs are involved, right? They pay gangs, look, if you want um, to get out, and because they got dirt on these gangs, look, you, you serve more time, look, we need you to do this, follow this guy, do this, give him a bit of money, have them move into the neighbourhoods, right? They also do this with crackheads as well and homeless. Everybody's on the payroll, everyone. But guess what? It's an honour that I'm their payout. <laughs> I'm your payout. Uh, how does that feel? you got to follow me around, right? And sometimes, you know what? Sometimes we move around because we don't want to make it too easy for them, right? Noise campaigns, right? So this is one major thing they use as well major noise campaigns and they do this through sirens right whether that's the ambulance yes the ambulance are involved all of them are involved why because it's a new it's a one world order it's to protect their society they've been told to do this from higher ups right so it says noise campaigns yes they use these things right such as sirens fireworks um keys so again, be spiritual. I'm not saying now because someone's put on fireworks, they're agent. But these tactics are used. It's covert, right? It's covert. They also use keys. Yes, jigging and keys. Um, whistling, coughing, which that's um that goes back to revelations. They have demons in their throat. That's the unclean spirit. They use coughing. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Slamming doors, car doors right because oh hold on a minute you got something you keep when you if you got something in your car you may slam slam the front door you may slam the back door but you're not going to slam the door what four five six seven times really these are spirits okay so let's go to ephesians 6 and 11. we going to tear apart this this program man you you mess with the wrong individuals okay and they're, they're the criminals. They're the criminals. Those that are doing this, they're the criminals. But they're saying, oh, we need to, we need to protect the community. Oh, uh, you know, we need to help because um, he's a threat. Look, we are not a threat. It's just that the word is a threat to you. That's all it is. Spare me just a minute. That's what it is. So I want to say, I want to say this to the brothers and sisters. It's nothing that you've done wrong. Because when you were in the ways of sin... Nothing was brought before you, and it's still that way. Nothing has been brought before me personally, right? So, whatever people got to say, guess what? It means nothing. And you know what's so bad? It shows you that these people are so easily manipulated, right? Let's go to Ephesians, Baba Kashar. You hear that? And that's a point. That's a part. Yeah, that's another thing as well. They also use, um, What's the electrical, electronic um, hovering systems and all that rubbish? They also use that as well. Most people are involved, right? It's Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, you have a shy in the power of his might. The only, the only way, the only how you can overcome this is through your have a shy. There's no other way. Put on the whole armor of the Most High that you may be able to stand against the walls of the devil right? put on the armor put on the whole armor right see that's just the devil you see you can't make this up but it's so covert that when you bring it to other people it's not a thing you could bring to other people because other people will say no where's the proof they're just you know so it's, it's covert very very covert right but at the end of this, guess who's going to win? Yahweh Shai. And this is indicative that this man's kingdom is going down. Right? It's indicative. Because then he wouldn't need to do these things. But guess what? We stay cool, calm and collected. 
Okay. But you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. This program, it deals with so many aspects of the wiles of the devil. Wiles is tricks. What does the devil use? Tricks. Because Esau's just like a big, a big kid. He's never grown up. Right? Go back to Cade and Esau. Crying over his birthright. And that's what he wants. He wants that birthright. Right? What's next? The helicopter. I can hear helicopters in the distance as well. Hey, this is real. This is real. This is not a joke. Brothers, know what you're involved in. Okay? And it says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. This is more than the physical. Because Esau wants you to get carnal and punch him in his fucking dome. That's what, excuse my language, that's what he wants you to do. No, because then he have you locked up. And the whole part of this program is to get you um, in a mental ward or get you locked up or have you topping yourself, committing suicide. That's the meaning of this program. Stay spiritual. As long as you stay in the scriptures, you're good. Right? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Stop focus on the individual. The individuals, they're being used by Satan. Whether it is subconsciously or whether it is consciously. Right? But against principalities. Those, that, those are them principalities that are taken over the minds of people. And then principalities are the highest. Excuse me just a minute. The highest level of spirits out there. This is what we're against. Right? And against powers. Right? These powers are what? The forces of darkness. And against the rulers of darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places. So this really starts in the spiritual realm. He that departed from evil make himself a prey. So Satan's seen that. <laughs> now what? Satan's, Satan's here. Right? Now Satan sees that. He's going to do everything. And remember, yes, the elites, they, they're the ones that done this. Right? And really they had to go to Satan to get this thing started, right? So now all eyes on you, now you become targeted, right? By them spirits, by them powers of darkness. This is real. The powers of darkness also, what does it represent? Networking, right? So even through networks, yeah, they know where I am now. They're watching me right now on this device. Thousands of people in my town are watching me on this device. Because they've hacked it. That's another part of this program. Why do they hack you? They hack you so they can in, try to intimidate you. Right? And to gather information. Because that's what you do in war. In war, what do you do? You gather intel. There's so many aspects of this program. And you know what it's shown me? Yeah, of course it's toughened me up. It's shown me how corrupt this world is. These are the criminals. These are the criminals. It's not the, it's not the target individual. What they're doing is they're trying to victimize the brothers teaching this truth, this gospel, right? And that's what they're doing, which is another form of what projection. Hey, we're going to bring this out and against the rulers of darkness of this world. So the elites, they push out this darkness and these witches, these, these warlocks and against spiritual wickedness in higher places. So you better buckle up. So we're going to go more into this program. It also uses what fast cars with high powered motors right and loud engines okay very loud engines and they all go past you may have 20 depending on the roads right you may have what two-way road you may have a one-way road if it's a two-way road they have two what a line of cars driving that you go that way you go this way you go this corner you go this way circle the block for what 10 minutes loud cars that's to what to cause an effect and that's called a, si a simulation right it's a simulation right and also you got agents right an anarchist once upon a time right these anarchists they were so-called against the establishment right but then the anarchists they ended up getting paid to cause what anarchy chaos graffiti artists um looters gangs right and now what they're paid off okay they're paid off to do the bidding so they're using everyone and everybody and esau's got the sufficient funds to do it right go to local stores yep they go to your locals they spread lies they slander they create so once upon a time you may have been going into a store wherever everything was all good 
all of a sudden now everybody's acting funny because guess what that's the mi5 right but don't fret and create a fake report about you and tell people not to engage with you which not all people do it but guess what the people that don't do it guess what they get so-called gang stalked yes so what you got to understand this is also based it's a fair based program so if you say no nah, i'm not going to do that well guess what they target you they target your family so there's a lot of people there's people that don't want to do it there's people that don't want to get involved and I've known people in these particular stores, they said, I'm not doing it. Guess what? I, don't, I no longer see them in these stores. So guess what? It's not you, right? It's slander. It's because this word is getting out. <laughs> okay. You hear that beeping in the background? They're using everything. This way you have to be mentally strong. And I want to say this. If you don't have your shy, you won't overcome this program if you don't have your shy, Right? And Lord willing, this is edifying because thousands of people need to hear this. Even you may have some that are not even in the truth that may wake up to the truth that need to hear this. Right? And it says, what else? What else? What else? And also pay these people off to try and to harass you. The reason why I said try, because with the elect, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Baby, just a minute. Let's go to Romans. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Because while I'm bringing out these things, I also want to let the scriptures comfort you. Okay. Romans 8, and we're going to go straight to verse 31. What shall we say then to these things? If the Most High be for us, who can be against us? If Yahweh is for you, who the hell can be against you? And if they're against you, that's working on behalf of their destruction. Okay. And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, he who spared not his own son and delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of the most as elect? And this program is designed, designed to do that, to lay charge. To lay a charge to you. That's what it's designed to do. Okay. To watch your every single move. Okay. And that's why the scriptures and revelations, the accuser of our brethren, which is cast down to accuse them day and night. The part of this program is to accuse you day and night. Is to look for some type of um, fault. Whether you're scratching your nose or you've got an itchy ass, you know what I'm saying? All these things. And they have also people, yes, following you in crowds, taking pictures, right? And they take these pictures all also and they send it to what the witches and the warlocks and have the witches and the warlocks put a hex on it. And they may go to your neighborhood, um, pour, they may pour some fluids, right? On your premises, they pour some fluids on it. All these things. Black magic, look, everything is a Luciferian agenda right and it says it is the most high that justifies who is he that condemneth it is the most high that that but you know the beautiful thing is now hold on i don't want to say beautiful you know what the thing is these same individuals these are the same individuals committing adultery going to orgy parties smoking weed being homosexuals but they, they're trying to get dirt on you they're trying to get dirt on you you see, their hypocrisy. That's why it said, Yahweh Shai, he had to in, endure the contradiction of sinners. And it says, Baba Kasha, yeah, that rather that is risen again, who is at the right hand of the master who make intercession for us? Who shall separate us from the love of Mashiach? That's what they're trying to do. Right? That's what they're trying to do. So tribulation, this is tribulation. Tribulation is already here. And this is why when brothers speak about particular things or you got to be strong in this a lot of brothers still you a lot of brothers don't really understand what they're involved in a lot of brothers don't really understand what they're involved in but we're, we're going to see scripture says then shall be known here are my chosen or distress this program is designed to cause a great um, amount of distress or persecution it is persecution or famine starvation or nakedness or peril dangers or sword as it is written for thy sake we are killed all day long we are counted as sheep for the slaughter nay and all these things we are more than conquered through him that loved us so we're already conquerors through you have a shy they're they're the losers they've already lost right and what proves that is this program it proves that they've lost okay they're getting desperate you need to use bro this is thousands of people are involved 
certain people it, it may be just five or ten certain people they just may issue out a hundred certain people it's they offer out the whole cities thousands right so this shows you how much power you have but with this power still remain humble okay there's something about you that's different you have qualities because if you didn't have these qualities you wouldn't be put on the program right you got men telling me just get with the program get on the program you got men in the truth saying that get on the program are you bugged out these are men that have sold out get on the program for I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the most savage in Yahweh Shah Mashiach that's the whole point of this is to separate you from your power to have you not believe it so you just give up oh no uh, too much uh, too much harassment now right Esau is the real abuser Esau is the real harasser right and a lot of these cars that go past as well guess what yes a lot of these cars that drive past they will also lean their arm out of the window right which is um a so-called masturbation uh, disgusting gesture right it's a masonic masturbation gesture and it, it's a gesture of what human trafficking it's a gesture brothers have to brothers have to be more um you you, you have to um really wisen up what's really going on we read the scriptures but you also have to go in go into what happens in society these are human traffickers okay all these people are involved fucking disgusting excuse my language right and they also yes set up devices around your premises and even if they can get in your house they will and if you got someone that's saying can we see um we just got a call from the next door neighbor i've had this before um well hold on he's got his drainage can we just check your drainage say no just say no no we don't want that no no thanks right if you didn't ring him up to test that and even certain brothers have testimonies as well and um, we just want to check on uh, something in your household you just say no because these individuals they're, they're set up to implant devices in your household and around your household what to keep tabs on you and i'm gonna i'm gonna be real yeah bro i already know my my, my father's house is the whole house is basically bugged right the whole the whole premises right that's what they do right but that doesn't matter anyway hack phone they have yep, certain apps and yes they have an app where they can see um your heartbeat okay your body temperature okay and they mess with your heartbeat through what di directed energy as well they also use directed energy which is illegal okay they're using these things against their citizens to speed up their heartbeat to do this and that they yes they if they can get a measurement of your frequency they can um, store that frequency in the data and with that frequency they can operate on that frequency and use other frequencies against your frequency right low vibrational frequencies this is what's going on that's why the scripture says we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers this is deeper than you think and also it says yeah everybody can also look into what you're doing through privacy which is freakism right which is freakism okay and it says another idea is to mention something you like but the only way they can do that is by listening to your listening to your conversations or something what you do or to get or to get a trigger they do it to get a trigger reaction so don't be surprised you may be traveling and someone mentions something you've just done 20 minutes ago that's so they can get a trigger reaction so you're looking at them how do they know no 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 no. they're not necessarily psychic it's technology they're not psychic it's technology they're using that's all because they they think they're gods but they're going to be shown they're not gods right because take away the technology you take away esau's power simple as that he's just a mortal man <laughs> okay another idea is hold on a minute to label you on space they so you can get a trigger reaction so they can deem you they can deem you remember this whole program is to deem you 
socially unfit and unstable right and to label one fit schizo so therefore you go to the doctor you can't tell the doctor look there's um a psychological operation going on they're juiced in they're juiced in and i've noticed you know the last time i had um a little bit of food poisoning guess guess who was outside my yard the ambulance well how would they know that through the technology through that video i've done so everybody's watching brothers stay in these scriptures okay it's a covert operation which stems back to what eastern germany eastern germany they were using these tactics the nazis so-called nazis were using these tactics okay in war okay yes psychological warfare also Tav tavistock agenda was using these tactics the effects of trauma how can they create trauma how can they create a reaction we do this see how he reacts this way right it's a covert operation the reason why it's covert because it's secret it's supposed to be in a manner where nobody else sees it only a few people see it right which the nazis used to trick okay their enemies and also yes bus drivers are involved they're they're, uh, they're alerted prior to you you may be getting on a the bus they're alerted prior to you getting on that bus right they may be um told to press a particular button which goes beep 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 and they will turn it up what to desensitize what you're hearing right and um train train services they're all involved as well prior to you coming right you may be about to get on a train they say no nope, that's counseled that's counseled right no nope. next one in what 9 45 they're all involved so they're just following the orders from higher up right and um the surveillance i was going to say 24 hours it's not 24 hours because people need to sleep people need to change someone can't surveil you 24 hours up completely even when they have cameras right so it's not 24 hour surveillance they want you to think now so you can become what paranoid okay you could be you could just cover up in a ball no still go out go out do stuff right don't stop doing stuff um they try to block you if you're going somewhere you may have a uh, group mobbing try to block you right try to intimidate they use people with um muscles right ex-military men yeah they're involved as well high um retired military men right what else what else what else but the scripture says in timothy he has not given us a spirit of fear but what of a sound mind oh yep they will also use that as well fake laughing that happens a lot as well the fake laughing why do they do that to make you feel that huh, huh they know something that i don't know no it's rubbish it's complete rubbish they've been told to do that right that's to make you feel not confident why because when you hear this word you're confident and most of the people in this world they're not confident they have low self-esteem so that that whole laughing thing right that's just another way of to keep you what insecure to have you thinking is there something wrong with me don't fall for it right don't fall for it these are all the different things um positioning individuals prior to you being there yep so they were positioning individuals look he's going to be here we're guessing he's here and what helps you in this program a lot of the time you don't want to make it too easy for them some would say you give them a run for their money in it if they're getting paid make it make them follow you make them make them you make them follow you in it make their time hard so you you find out if you're traveling a lot you're moving from place to place i don't know you may go yorkshire you may go i don't know buckinghamshire or whatever that's going to give them a run for their money and they're going to have to spend more, more funds right but again the more you're in your household it's easier for them to what, harass because they what they they have the neighbors they could just use the neighbors okay and what else We're, we're nearly done and they use yes honey pots excuse me just a minute see how much time we got on this bear me just a minute let me check if this is still running yep it's still running okay i hope brothers are being edified as well and i hope this is helping you out because um this is happening to 
thousands of individuals across the world and they need to know this program is illegal and no, nobody, nobody deserves that. But guess what? Esau's going to get that treatment. You reap what you sow. And I've even learned that. So if people are doing this, what do you think they're going to reap? What do you think they're going to um, reap? It ain't going to be good. And the last people you want to be doing that to is the elect, those that have Yahweh on their side. Right? It's, hold on just a minute. Honey pots. They said, yeah, beautiful women. Right? The honey pots, and a lot of the time it's just joggers, it'd be women that jogging past, big butt, nice fires, all of that. They'd be using these things. Yeah, they could even set up a woman to get with you for two weeks, three weeks, then leave you just so they can um, gather more in what information. Right? Be very, very circumspect. Right? Colour, I'll be ready when to that colour sensitation. One day it may be a purple, everyone's wearing purple. Right? And the next day it may be pink, the next day it could be orange, but they do that so now you see these colours on an everyday basis. You may um you may associate that with something negative. Don't get fought, right? Take it with a pinch of salt, right? And know what's happening. And that's why the scriptures talk about, excuse me just a minute if I can find that, but we go in the midst of snares. Bro, this it's taught me a lot. This 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 program that they've put I don't know, look, who put me on it? It was someone that was offended, it was someone that got hurt. I believe I know who it was. I believe I know who it was. Yeah. Right? It's someone that got their feelings hurt that put me on this program. Right? And it really goes down to because um, even before you were put on this so-called program, remember Yahweh Shai, right, in a time of Herod. They were searching for help. They were searching for Yahweh Shai. So it was the same thing, right? Remember, Herod said to his magis, "Where is he?" There was a star in the east, and I want to um, correct myself. Guess what that star was? Yeah, that star was a chariot. Okay, a new revelation. That star was a chariot. That star in the east. Okay, and that's where they knew where Yahweh Shai was. Okay, so this was happened. This has been happening for for a long, 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 long time. Even with Pharaoh, what what did Pharaoh say? Kill every kill, kill every firstborn. Make sure you kill kill every firstborn of the males, right? Yes, this is an ancient um practice. Some say it goes back to nineteen what thirty. I don't know nineteen forties, nineteen whatever. It goes further back than nineteen thirty three, right? This actually goes back way, 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 way back, right? It's an ancient. Babylonian system program, right? And the new ages are involved in this world. Yes, a lot of the new ages, a lot of the new ages speak about these particular programs. A lot of them are going off because they're set as a stumbling block. There's a reason why they use these new ages because now you may be looking for answers, but now you may get caught up in what, right? So there's a lot of stumbling blocks. Be careful who you're listening. Be careful who you're listening to when it's concerning these particular um topics. Okay. Excuse me just a minute. I was looking for a particular scripture. We're gonna bring all this good stuff out so you become become enlightened to what's really going on. You know? Okay, you hear that? That the next one that was see that was the whistle in there. They use all types of different things. And it's to get a response, right? They're sad. They have no life. They they need to get a response. They need they need something. Um, I can't find that. But the scripture says, remember where it says um, oh here it is. This is Ecclesiastes nine and thirteen. Keep thee far from the man that have power to kill. Okay, power to kill. So shall not doubt the fear of death if thou come unto him, make no fault lest he take away their lives presently. So we're gonna move wise because yes, Esau's got the funds. If he really wanted to take you out, he could do that. But these are like torturing, the ele electronic harassment, rest torture, and it's silent torture. So nobody else would know. It's silent torture, right? So shall not doubt the first if they come to him, make no fault lest he take away their life presently. Remember that that God was in the midst of snares, traps. Right, and I walk it upon the battlements of the city. And another trick as well, 
right, is the whistling and the dogs. Another trap is, um, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, Poochie, come here. And they will look at you as well. That's a psychological effect. They do that to, to, let, to basically let you know, look, we own you, which they don't. Because guess what? They're under orders as well. They're under orders, so they're not free, right? That's why it's best to be in your Hawashai. Ride out for your Hawashai, right? They're not free. They're told to do that. Okay. You hear that whistling? They're told to do that, right? So they're obviously, they're not free. They're under their mental shackles. And it was easy. All you had to say is no. And that's it. But they gave themselves to their, what, them demonic spirits. Okay. Nobody can come to me and say, um, would you harass this individual? Would you do this? Would you do that? Would you come downstairs and slam your door car? Bro, that means you're, you're like a robot. And it's all a part of the New World Order system. So now let's go back to this. Um, military, yes, they use the military. Because the military, this is a military um, operation. The CIA uses operation. The founders of it are in America. So guess what? There's, there was calls being made from the US to the UK through what? Central Intelligence Services to get this done. Get them on the program. This was done from the US. Okay, so guess what? Be somewhat obliged that, wow, I'm obliged that they've, you know, put so much time and effort into me. Because you're a powerful individual. Because you have the Holy Spirit. Because if you were a nobody, you just, you just leave you alone. If you're, if you're a nobody, you're insignificant, they just leave you alone. So obviously you have something that they don't possess and they don't like and they're trying to silence you. But now we're gonna, now we know we're gonna expose this program more and more and more. The ambulance, yes, they're involved as well. They're told to um, use their sirens to do whatever they gotta do. Directed energy, which is known as no no um no touch torture, which I've got neighbours across the road, right? That's gonna be dealt with soon as well. I've got neighbours across the road that think they can shine torches and so forth, these particular devices, lasers on my window. Right? That's gonna be dealt with soon as well. Right? This is real. I'm not making this up. And gaslighting. Right? Methods. Okay. Beeping. Druggers. Right, so they use the gaslighting methods. Why do someone's gaslight? To, to make you um, guess your reality. Lights might switch, start switching off. That's so you can guess your reality. To have you guess and to think, oh, is it me? This is why you have to be mentally strong. Beeping, yep, that happens a lot. They do the beeping. Example, you may start, just, ex just as you um, turn on your device, you may hear beep. That's basically them... Um, psychologically letting you know that they know that you're here you're about to do a video right joggers you're gonna have joggers I'm not saying everyone that jogs now is an agent but they also yes use joggers to see what you're doing um be careful as well don't order no food if you're on this program don't order no food at all I wouldn't order no food I stopped doing that a long time ago don't order no food right and switch up the food you're getting they will also see what food you're getting as well and they will also um tell someone to poison that particular food I'm, I'm not making this up it's a known thing um, and one of the major ones they do as well is also if that's not working they try the black magic right they use witches and what do witches wear all black and all black represents what intimidation right and power and authority but they will also use people to dress in black and these people they, they do it okay yes yeah, so I wear black they get a message put on all black today and they do it. Um, hexes, they, yeah, they have the hexes as well. They try to put hexes on you. When that ain't working, it's like, oh, what do we do next? They're desperate. Um, the chemtrails as well. You will see a lot of chemtrails in the air. At one time, they might not have been as much. Yes, they also get in directions as well from on high. Yes, put, put the chemtrails and they do it in X's and so forth. This is real, this is spiritual warfare. And the chemtrails is what? It has, um, what's it, barium, what piece of metal in it, right? And that's to what mess up what your system, your respiratory system. And there is things you can do. We're also going to do videos as well on the things that help you 
counter visa tax that's another lesson because i don't want to i don't want to put all in too much there's a lot of time and the main goal is intended to make one feel like they're under constant threat so like i said get out do things scripture says in john 8 and 32 my favorite scripture and you shall know the truth if you you are my disciples and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free these people they're not made free from the truth they're in bondage that's why they're doing what they're doing so they're obviously they're not free you're free that's why you're being targeted you're free you're free and you're hawa shy that's why you're being targeted because you're not doing what everybody else is doing okay what well, they are it's easy just stop following <laughs> just stop doing that it's easy and um you go into that situation with what's it trevor martin why was he going to school with a knife in his pocket why was he doing that why was he getting into fights right i mean yes his father was a mason right his father was a mason but why was why was that happening because he was being targeted that's what was happening See, they're not going to tell you that what was his name was it was it elliot rogers what why did he shoot people up why did he do that and they said oh because no women was no he was being targeted but he could not take it that's why he done it he, he was on that program right and the other individual in woolwich right and the london bridge attacks and all these these attacks these people were what these people were prodded and harassed beyond the point where they lost it right and that's it's part of what mk ultra is hypnotism it's witchcraft it's black magic and the only way one will overcome is to be in your shy. that's that's the only thing it's not this is not something you can deal with yourself the only way you can deal with it is through your shy. so until the next time lord willing this basically sums up that whole program and until the next time Shalom. I hope this was comforting. I hope this was edifying. Shalom.